Hello, this time we bring a fall special from the abandoned North State Mental Hospital here in Washington State. So about a year ago, we thought we visited this hospital, but it turns out we only went to the farm grounds. And so that video got posted, a lot of people commented, told us exactly where to go. So now we're at the actual hospital. Yeah, and the story is that here for a long time there were mental patients and to be able to keep them busy and rehabilitate them, they were able to work on a farm and in a canning factory and we got that part covered last time and this time we're actually here at the hospital and the dormitories. And the interesting thing about this hospital is that a lot of it has been revitalized and is still active, but they kept the abandoned part of the hospital here. So we're about to walk around, see what we can see and take you along with us. Yeah, we haven't been at this part ourselves. Let's explore. This is how close they are. Over here they're saying authorized access only and it does look like it's a newer facility. And right here is the abandoned facility, like right next to it. So really interesting that they're, you can see one uh, right next to the other. Here we have a gate which is quite explicitly saying do not go inside, but there is a little broken window. So we're walking around the grounds looking for good views inside this building and trying to find out if it can let us know more. See, there's some kind of opening here. <laughs> Not really accessible. Nope. Cool, though. Juggalo. Ooh, some nasty little room here. Wow. Pretty tightly shut. Ooh, oh, good reason. There's an elevator shaft. Oh, wow. Nice. Don't want to fall in there. Inside here we see more hallways and offices or doctor rooms. I don't know what they are. So apparently they used to do lobotomies here. Some pretty nasty medical exper experiments. And so I've heard reports that hundreds, even thousands of people died here, which is really sad. So we'll have to go find the cemetery after this. There are little broken windows here and there you can stick the GoPro in. But inside the rooms there is nothing. This here has washing machines in it. Oh, an open window. I guess some of those parkour urban explorer people could go up here, but I think I'll pass. There's some stuff in here. This one hasn't been cleared out. So even though we can't enter the building, it's still pretty interesting just, you know, from a photography perspective to kind of document a lot of this decay. There's a lot of details. Oh. The light is still on one of these windows here. So I'm too short to be able to see what's inside. So maybe the GoPro can or the Fujifilm can. Check that out. So big space that is not used, but the light is on. And they may be getting ready to rehabilitate this building, I'm not sure. Blackberry bush is trying to creep inside the building here.
Sometimes they manage and then they take apart the whole building. It's quite fascinating. In the farm area, we found such buildings. We'll show you attached to this video. Almost the whole building is engulfed by this giant blackberry bush stretching all the way up now. Crazy part is this thing on well, that side is clean and looks used and once you cross over here it's abandoned. Another shoot totally taken by blackberry bushes. I think what's happening is they're getting ready to rehabilitate this whole building, but they've only done half of it or something like that. And they'll probably proceed now. There's a big project called the Swift Center. And that one is about renewing this whole thing to become a vibrant business center again. Here you can see quite clearly how they're working on this building, which on that side is still abandoned, but they've even brought a grill here. So it's gonna be nice. <laughs> Some modern stuff, yeah. So. Yeah, this is the part of the abandoned part. It looks like the building keeps going this way. But if we turn around on this side, I mean, they've got the COVID signs everywhere, so clearly people are using it. That's right. It's been modernized. That's right, right here. The whole thing's been cleaned up and restored. All right, this looks like an entryway. <laughs> you want to do this? I forgot my machete. No, this part might be. Ah, there's a door. at least peek into the window. Nothing but paint chips, probably lead as well. It really does appear like this would be the only ways to get in. <laughs> They're pretty solid, but climbing them would be very difficult. When there's light, we're already visible. This could be a way, but yeah, it does look blocked actually at the top. Violators will be persecuted. Is this a violation? chair and hospital bed yeah this was clearly part of the hospital right here bars here and some very nice wooden doors in the back in good condition and a lot of signage here that you're being watched that you should not go in and this here is abandoned wheelchair and hospital cots and all and this is already restored where this is part of the job corp I think or the business center and this is abandoned which is kind of the transitionary phase this whole building or this whole site is yeah if you peek through here you will see a functioning cafeteria just made recently yeah there is more medical equipment remaining more yeah you can see Definitely in use as a hospital not too long ago. Really? <laughs> it's interesting how the state created a historic route out of this, like an attraction. Well, it's being rehabilitated to be used by the job corps and then the businesses want to move into here. That building right there is clearly abandoned and decaying. And tourists are coming to see this. We were like exploring, we found the coolest room and then like I think it's like a photography club kind of show, <laughs> like boomers. Yes. And they're gonna explore and take photos. Which is, I mean, cool. I mean, everyone can enjoy it, but it, you know, obviously, doesn't no longer feel creepy. Yeah. <laughs> worth mentioning, we talked a lot about the history and the story of this place in the segment we filmed at the farm, which we'll add to this big video when we make it in the end. So we'll tell you why this place is significant in that segment. It's not in a bad shape, honestly. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been abandoned that long ago. This thing is more protected with wire. Not much, just a round building really. Shuttered down here so people don't sneak in. 
nothing inside here cleaned out likewise cleaned out here let's see the view from up there this one is pretty cool yeah. a lot of decay in here board it up pretty good at securing abandoned stuff in the US you can't quite enter them as easily as Europe creeping around here and taking shots and we see people doing the exact thing the exact same thing over there yes the photography club gathering right here everyone shooting from some window the blackberry is getting in people not so much i guess the fact that it was for patients who are basically restrained here makes it so they all already secured it to begin with so it's not so easy to enter in this cloudy foggy day and with some full color definitely adds to the vibe. Cool shot right here. kind of symmetric building with more and more of these it's kind of like a garden maybe a greenhouse or just a place where you can feel in tune when you're a patient so you don't feel as bad in fact there are tons of leaves in there which means at one time windows or roof were compromised and currently you cannot enter I don't know how the leaves got in there there we go here's a broken window See, the whole thing is full of leaves. Maybe this side has collapsed before and now it's been rebuilt with this wood. Here too, inside. In the proper building, there's also leaves everywhere. Maybe wind blew them in. Every little pane has been broken. Quite intentionally, I'm sure. I, I doubt this happens randomly, but it does look cool. This broom all together is very cool. Ladder. Let's see. Also well boarded up. Mm -hmm. Big nail sticking out, rusty. It's another cool view here. A lot of decay. So much space gone to waste. I 
I guess this is why now more than half of this has been restored and repurposed. Up here there's like a whole fern forest growing. Ominous looking these days. I'm sure he wasn't much less depressed when he was full of mental patience. Looks like someone brought a vintage car from just about the same era as this mental hospital. I wouldn't have thought to do that kind of photo shoot here, but I mean, if you're going for creepy Halloween vibes, you can't find a creepier place. Uh, with that said, though, there are quite a few people, especially in Washington, that you know had family members or know people personally that were patients here. So we got a lot of those comments in our other videos. So. I can understand that if you actually had a personal connection here and, you know, you do want to come and do a photo shoot and tribute or just pay respects to actual people that were patients here. Another cool window. Wow, it's all green and rotten in there. It's a pretty cool texture. A lot of rust on the window too. I no, is, spray. Look at that. No, behind Oh, inside. Whoa, what, what is, is that? that? It looks like an incinerator. <laughs> but I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know, man. They had to do something with people. Some interesting machinery here that we've never seen before. It's by a company called Cobart. Yeah, wow. That's pretty... Oh, geez. And there's like a... Yeah, what went in there? It's an old dishwasher. That's what I'll tell nah. myself. That's what I'll tell myself. <laughs> Come on. Going inside would definitely be cool, but we just cannot. They've done a really good job securing it. Besides, we don't want to go in and film and incriminate ourselves because it is illegal. You can see right here, they board up. Whatever there's weakness that you could have just gone through, they board it up. Here's the other side of that big machine. Maybe had to do it distributing food or something. But it's some kind of setup I've never seen before. And this side has been cleaned out. What is that? <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah, uh huh. That's interesting. Yeah, I know. Just a few thousand people were tortured here. Not that creepy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like they came through and they definitely made sure that they boarded up and secured any possible way to get in. Although, you know, if there were just less people and it was darker, I'm sure you could find a way if you really wanted to get inside. In my youth, before I hit any wealth to be sued for and fined for, I would have definitely persisted and broken in, but I wouldn't have incriminated myself like a dumbass. Yeah, you gotta remember, like, everything is traceable these days, and especially if you're gonna put it online, like, they will find you. Like, don't yeah. be dumb. People do that, but normally not in their own country. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, don't do it where, like, don't where you sleep, where you eat, right? Like, just don't right. do it next to, like, your actual home. <laughs> Godfather wisdom. All right, we'll see you from the next location. That was the plaque to commemorate the people who were patients and buried here. So the barn and the farm are actually over to our left. So if you keep walking, kind of follow the road, and you'll make it to the cemetery. You can see a tombstone. So yeah. I'm assuming it's yeah back out this way. But there's a big green field. So yeah, we're not really sure, but I'm assuming the cemetery is somewhere back here. It could also be what we're walking on and that it has been cleared, but... I hope not. Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> see all these dirt mounds. The only visible thing in the back is that, which we're approaching. 
that is a commemorative tombstone as well as some flowers and this is the only tombstone which remains interesting that the rest have been cleared you think you want to commemorate these people John K. Davis, And remember, we mentioned a lot of people in our state have family here, so you would wonder that they may want to see the graves of their family, but they've removed all the tombstones. I'm guessing that's what happened. I mean, they do label it out front as this is the cemetery, but that is very strange that I only see uh, one marker here. Looking around, there are signs that there are more stones. And some people leave coins and there are some remnants of stones. So I am sure this was all covered in graves. And I do wonder if they were even commemorated because there are just numbers here. 5CH, perhaps that is all the commemoration the patients got, which to me is a bit messed up. But all these little stones have a number and two initials and perhaps there were never stones and someone brought another stone from somewhere to commemorate someone. There's some crows here fittingly. Mm -hmm. Someone did just comment on our last video I think like a week ago and said that they came to the cemetery and she was like, I felt so cre creeped out. The cemetery was the creepiest part so I don't know. Also, in your head, a lot of creepy things may happen if you come here with that mindset. That is true. <laughs> this is going to be something different from Gemini Connect, but it will be a tribute to one of our favorite YouTubers, Bold and Bankrupt. So we're here at the Northern State Park, which is a former hospital that has now been turned into a state park. The structures date back to as early as 1909, and it was a functioning state hospital up until I believe the 70s, 1970s, they closed it down. And in 1990, Skagit uh, Valley County actually purchased these buildings and turned it into a state park. So it is obviously structurally unsafe, but I wouldn't let that deter me. Like I said, that's how we grow up. And this place is completely full of broken glass. So yeah, a little bit hazardous. It's interesting that they've left it like this and it's technically a state park and yeah, wow, the structures are still very much intact. I'm f***ing your girl. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> and I don't know if you have explored many abandoned buildings. I grew up on an island, so no. <laughs> and it's like a vacation island. Uh, yeah, exactly. This reminds me of the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which is actually based on a mental asylum in Washington state. And I think it has to do with some of the horror stories that you hear about the asylums of that era. Mm -hmm. There's a famous story in particular Kurt Cobain wrote a song about where, I think it's called something like uh, Frances will have her revenge on Seattle. Mm -hmm. And it's about an actress who was uh, attractive and famous and uh, it sounded like her mother and the neighbors conspired and had her locked up in a mental asylum way back. And uh, the mental asylum completely destroyed her with really barbaric methods of supposedly healing people. So in the West, in America and in this state, very much um, the asylums got a terrible reputation and a lot of them got shut down. And this led to a whole bunch of problems where now there actually aren't places where these people that need the help can get it. Which We're seeing is, that on the streets of Seattle right exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. It's actually why we have a massive homeless problem and actually clinically mentally ill people are on the streets with nobody to help them and no place to go. Because all these places like this were shut down and abandoned. The other thing to mention is we are in western Washington and I honestly think this is one of the worst places to be mentally ill because of the weather. It's a very messed up, long, dreary winter. And you can see the sky in this direction there, how it's darkening. That is pretty much the sky of that color for months at a time. And if you're stuck in a place like this with already a mental illness, 
and you have to look at the sky and you have nothing to do this will really destroy you mentally mm -hmm. and physically however um you're telling me that here they had occupations right i mean yeah it was a working farm so obviously farms need laborers and so I th um, my understanding is that back in the day they did employ a lot of those people or at least gave them jobs so that even though they were here at the hospital they had a purpose and i think that's just you know something that every human needs is they need a purpose something to keep them going especially if you're mentally ill that's so right i think that that actually was a very good thing and it's really sad that it's not continuing at least in, the, in this form here it's another huge building here oh and a big Silo, interesting. This one is cool. So it's a big silo looking building here. <laughs> so inevitably I have to climb this. You're gonna go all the way up? Yeah, I think I can. Alright, so I'm gonna try to climb this. It looks rather sturdy actually. It is rusty, but it's very strong. All right. Oh, whoa. Holy cow, that's cool. <laughs> See, this is why a team thing works for us, because I would never do this. I am climbing with the GoPro in my hand and yeah. still using it to grab. It's pretty, pretty high now. <laughs> You're not allowed to do this. Nope. You didn't grow up like a gopnik. <laughs> no platform to stand up here. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. I can see it all from above now. Here we go. The abandoned hospital. Almost there. All right. This is what I just climbed. All right, let's see. There's more buildings. It's thoroughly emptied out. Nature is beginning to reclaim this place, mm -hmm. growing. And it always blows my mind whenever I'm in abandoned buildings, how quickly nature reclaims them. So how's your first abandoned building exploration? This is so much fun, especially if you're a photographer. This is just great. There's like something that's really interesting about decay. It's just like, this is cool. Yeah, see this? Wow. This okay. is a very much, very textured, it's on its way to collapse and oh, uh, some graffiti. I think it's just a shed. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Here the blackberry is starting to climb the roof, eventually to collapse it under its weight. Textures and you're right, just how like nature comes back and like overtakes it. Yeah. It also gives you that sense of, you know, we're, we're being humans, like nature still wins in a lot of ways. Yeah, that is a good point. Um, I, for one, have absolutely no fear that humans will be damaging nature too much because... Nature bounces back. Yeah, and we're so fragile. Our civilization is so fragile. Here the roof completely collapsed. This was an uh, electric room. The electric installation is made of metal, so it survives longer than the rest but the texture in here are totally wild actually i love how the paint cracked right here this is awesome and there are layers and layers of different paints and textures peeling now as well as the rubble here falling on the metal glass pieces rust it's actually pretty beautiful in here what happens to everything humanity does when it is not maintained, even just for a few decades. Uh, this place, I think, was shut down in the 70s and let fall into ruin in the following decades. So it's not that old of a ruin. Um, here, nature again starts to grow right through the roof or to the floor. Um, I think it's just in the rubble, seeds fell and now 
plants have taken hold of it. And so it goes. Um, the more it keeps raining here with no roof, the more everything rots, the more microorganisms chew through it, and more organisms like plants take it. Soon animals will come live in these plants, and you have a full cycle. Nature makes its return several decades after humans let it go. Well, I need to watch my step. This is exactly how I got a nail through my heel when I was a kid climbing on such planks with nails sticking out of them. And if you look, every piece of wood has a million nails on it here. Yep, even high and low. <laughs> There's like nails lining this wow, hole. Look at the top. What yeah. is that? I don't know. There are nails right here. Uh, <laughs> it looks like fish bones, but it's like... um. It's so cool. <laughs> Wow, what is this? I actually have no clue. It, it looks like water heaters, but it obviously isn't. I would guess this is for like dairy or something. Yeah, it looks like dairy. Yeah, I would totally guess dairy. I would see, yeah, so picking up the pieces, this is starting to look like a dairy farm. Mm -hmm. uh, because we had space for cows and now we have this machinery where it looks like milk was being stirred or stored or both. Ah, there we go. Big Dutchman, Division US Industries Inc. And it's a timer and it says Trichomatic. So it does point at dairy. Very interesting. So it's an abandoned, probably cow milking installation here. And God knows what that is. Here's what these um, patients were up to here. They were making food and canning it right here in the food processing plant, which is another group of buildings right here we can check out right now by the numbers 1930s the northwest hospital farm produced over two year period an average of wow a million four hundred thousand pounds of vegetables and eighty thousand pounds of berries with recently completed cannery could can twelve thousand five hundred and ten cans of fruit serious operation here yeah, by they, the patients they were actually doing a lot that's pretty cool very cool yeah. Right here, the berries remain long after the hospital. I like how the vine just came into here. This is crazy. It's like Indiana Jones shit. Yeah, right? Look at that. Thing, like, back here, but yeah. Pretty interesting. Wow. All right. This looks pretty decrepit, but I'll give it a go. Ooh, it's like the Illuminati in here. Illuminati, Illuminati confirmed, yeah. Illuminati a shattered toilet. Oh, they spray painted some cable to look like a coral snake almost. <laughs> Clever. Oh. oh, there we go. Finally, we find the expression of most likely someone Slavic. Yet another abandoned building. This one in the woods. We've been walking through and the woods are actually beautiful in this area. The whole setting for this farm. If you peek over here, you will see that this quickly becomes a lush northwestern forest. Here we go, some big machine. This might be the most sophisticated machinery we've seen so far. A little bit dark here and a lot of glass shards. And something. Mm -hmm mechanical and electrical revolving parts here some kind of cylinder with many tubes and how it's like a furnace yeah it's a type of furnace for sure but exactly what it powers up here heat or electricity something like that wow okay good thing i'm not very large wow barely squeeze through here <laughs> Vines dropping from the roof like a tropical ruin. This is one of the things about the Northwest. It will become a rainforest immediately as humans let go of it. Wow, this is the coolest building. And the uh, blackberry is encroaching from every direction. This is the craziest part. It's hanging from the roof. It has broken through where used to be roof tiles 
and now it's coming in from the roof very soon it will undermine everything here and there will be nothing left this one is my favorite so far <laughs> 